We got some like PR packages, so. We've got another one for you because you're just such a spoiled little puppy. Getting our ears pierced. We're both getting our thirds. I'm trying to flex. Hair goes dummy, hair goes stupid, hair goes crazy. Organic Valley, grass milk, grass milk? I don't really know what's going on, okay. What's up, fellas? To be honest, I don't think I've even said one word today. No, I did say, I said like two words. I said iced almond milk latte, four words, and thanks, five words. I've said five audible words today and it is 5 p.m. because all I've done is edit a YouTube video and put out a podcast. So, pack on my YouTube game. And I guess because of that, um, we got some like PR packages, so. I feel like we should just open them, you know, and then, See, I told you guys, every time that I start a video and I start talking to the camera, Frankie rings the bell. She just wants all of the attention. But I just let you out, so we're definitely not going out again. Because mommy is an influencer and she needs to do her job so that she can buy... What are you eating? Stop eating paint from my door. Mommy's an influencer because she needs to buy things like this. For you, from Chewy. Frankie, do you want to see what you got? How can I do this? A pair of scissors. Mommy got you a nice new dog bed because who chewed hers up when Emma was gone? Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. But Frankie, it does not stop there. What else did we get you? I know you're so excited. We got you a new dog toy because you have torn up all the other ones already with your teeth, teeth, teeth. Chuck it ultra balls because she has torn apart her tennis ball and then eats the fluff. So we got two of those. What else? We got you a monkey toy because you love to chew on things and you already chewed through your other toys and keep ripping out the fluff and eating it. Plush with rope tug squeaking monkey dog toy. And last but not least, we got you a Benna bone because you also have already chewed through your other Nyla bones, Nyla bones, and you keep eating the plastic pieces off of it, and it scares me. Benna bone, bacon flavored, yum. Doesn't smell like bacon to me. Frankie, are you ready to put these things to the test? Shake, if so. Yes. Okay. Frankie, here is your new bed. What do you think? Oh, she likes it. Let's move on to the next one. What do you think of your squeaky monkey toy? Whoa, that goes dummy. Yes, getting after it already. She's gonna like it, folks. All right, Frankie, we've got another one for you because you're just such a spoiled little puppy. Here's a giant Benabone for you. Bacon flavored. Let us know, does it taste like bacon? Oh, we got the first bites. Sniffs, sniffs and bites. <laughs> She's like, go away. Frankie, we got one last thing for you to review. I know you're a little busy and you want me to leave you alone now, but we have these balls and I think you might like them. Let's see. What do you think? I think she's having a lot of fun. I think she's gonna like these toys. I'm happy, I'm content. I think we found some winners. So Frankie will be occupied and not ringing the bell every time that I film a video. Now, it's mommy's turn. What is in the PR package? I don't know, Emma, let's see. It's from Under Armour. A new sports bra. I love Under Armour sports bras. They're my favorite running sports bras ever. This color is super cute. It's almost like a crop. Meridian fitted crop tank. Oh yeah, so it is, it's a tank top with uh, built-in pads. I'll link it all in the description if you want to check it out, but this is cute. We got another box though. Frankie, how are we doing down there? She's going at it, she's busy, all right. This one feels pretty heavy. Whoa! Let's go, let's get it. All right, we got an Under Armour Windbreaker, I think that's what this is. <gasps> this is cute, I like this. Everything I got size large. I'm 5'11", so put that into perspective. A pair of leggings. The Under Armour person told me that a lot of these are perfect for tall women, so love that because every single pair of pants slash leggings I own are too short, so. You know, summer's coming in hot, even though the rain has been, San Diego has had more rain than Seattle this year, this winter, so. But these shorts for the summer, about to be flames. Dude, this in the crop tank, I'm gonna look cute. 
SF Flex Woven Short. Jeez, they sent me so much stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Under Armour spandex. I need more spandex. So these are like perfect because they're not super short either. And they seem like they're going to be really comfortable on the top. Okay, love. This is the Under Armour Meridian Midi. So it's probably like mid-waist and mid-thigh, I would assume. <gasps> oh, I love a good fitted long sleeve and I have none. This is perfect. This is the Under Armour Rush Seamless Long Sleeve. Ooh, they really hooked it up. Ooh, we got some joggers. Murdy and Jogger from Under Armour. I'm all legs, short torso. And they said that these are gonna fit, so I'm excited. Loose fitted, <gasps> cropped tee. Need more of these for the summer as well. And then the last thing that they sent is a pair of shoes. I have no idea what these are gonna be. Mo Woman's Hover Sonic 6. Can never have enough sneakers in my closet, especially white ones, like love these. That, that was like Christmas time. Now what? No, like tell me why I look so cute. Literally this outfit slays. This is the Under Armour tank. And we got the Meridian shorts, and they're just like super flowy and comfortable. Um, I wish the shorts had a liner, that's the only thing, but still super comfy. Um, I think I'm gonna wear this sad girl track club hat too. Shout out to my girls, Molly, Izzy Seidel. And we rocking with the fellow scrunchy. If you know, you know, uh, coming soon, I will let you know when everything's live and stuff, but I don't know, I feel like I, I really wanna go on a run right now, but I'm not going to, because I can just tell like my back is just not quite there yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for like a little walk because I need to see the sun. I need to go outside today other than getting coffee. Okay, hey everyone, welcome to Emma's Kitchen. That's a little bit of a mess. Like I said in my last video, we're trying to eat healthier because I've just been like going out to eat way too much um, and I wanna cook more at home. I don't love my kitchen here, it's way worse than my last one. Hence why I stopped doing like my food Instagram. Rest in peace, one crazy foodie. She lived a good life. Today we're making sheet pan meal, chicken sausage, and root vegetables, which will include Brussels sprouts, some carrots, sweet potato, onion and garlic, and that's about it because they didn't have any beets. I was pissed. So Trader Joe, if you're watching this, I'm literally mad at you. I'm holding a grudge until you get beets. I'm watching the H3 podcast while doing this. Dude, I'm literally a chef. I have no idea how long this is gonna take and I also have no idea if this is even gonna cook correctly. But we're gonna put it in the oven at 375 for Alexa. So the timer for 21 minutes. 21 minutes, starting now. Also, I feel like this took forever for me to chop up all these veggies, but it does look absolutely fire. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ah. Now I just have to wait like an hour before I actually eat and I'm really hungry. <laughs> um, I literally think it's like an hour later, over an hour later. Uh, I had to eat a yogurt because I was so hungry, uh, but I made my dinner. And like meal prep, so my kitchen is a wreck. There's Frankie going again, ringing the bell. Health. Health is wealth, uh, fits bell, fitness influencer. Uh, if it fits your macros, what else about bodybuilders do? Um, keto, uh, raw vegan, high carb raw vegan. Yeah, so. Tell me why I literally look crusty AF. It's Saturday. Yesterday was Friday, I did my taxes, so that was riveting. Like, my day was so boring. My younger sister did come over later in the day and then we got our ears pierced. So what are we doing? <laughs> getting our ears pierced. We're both getting our thirds. We're gonna relax room today. <laughs> Sarah once showed me like the amount of earwax in her ear and I literally threw up in her mouth. That's not even a true story. It's crazy, oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't twist it. Oh, I already snagged it, so. What do you think of my really red ear? I'll try to flex. That's I have crazy. a high pain tolerance. That's crazy. That's crazy, that's crazy. People can learn something from you, how to handle pain. Yeah, all you have to do is breathe in. 
and then breathe out and wince a little bit and then you're good to go. Scope it, looks fire. We went to like a dive bar by my apartment and had a couple brewskis and then go, went and watched the sunset and then we got Thai food and then we got ice cream and then we came home and then she left. And then this morning I went to run club with my friends and then um, it's my first time running this week, I think. So I feel so out of shape. Anyways, today, right now, I'm gonna go get my hair done. You know when you're just like feeling crusty? Like I'm just kind of having a crusty moment. I don't know, I do kind of feel like I'm in like my peak, like my skin has gotten so much better because I started working with a dermatologist. You know, my nails are like fresh, so I shouldn't feel crusty, but I do because I just feel out of shape and my hair's not done. So I'm about to go get my hair done and then it's gonna look fire. And I'm gonna get my hair highlighted because it's like, it's just so dark right now. Look what came in the mail. <laughs> this is not fitting the aesthetic because these are clean dishes, but it just is not fitting the vibe. Also, I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet. I need to get some sort of like coffee bar cart because it does not fit like underneath any of my shelves. So I hate that. Um, and then there's no, wow, my kitchen is a disaster right now. Am I impulsive? Yes. I tweeted today. I was like, the things I've done to fill the void this week, getting my ears pierced and buying that $728 espresso machine. And you know what? I don't regret any of it yet. In terms of like getting my hair done, I've never been to this person. I don't switch up my hair. It's always the same. This feels weird like showing them like photos of some random girl with her hair, but I'm like, okay, this is kind of what I want. And you know, it's, I feel like my hair kind of already looks like that. It's like so basic, just like face framing layers, like a little, maybe a little bit of a curtain bang. I just like need to be in my glow up era, you know? Like I need to slay. I'm 26, I'm not getting younger and I need to slay. Dude, or do I hit it with the Karen cut? Or I show her this and I say, mess me up fam. Yo, let's get it. Dude, like if my hair looked like this all the time, this is literally a wig, but if my hair looked like this 24 seven, you guys, like, you would hate me. Like, I would not know how to act. Also, today I'm feeling a little bit, um, dizzy. Don't know why that's happening, so. I have a feeling it's something with, like, my hormones. I don't know, but it just feels off, so. Having an odd day. Okay, we're here. Literally, though, it's crazy because the next time you're gonna see me, you're never gonna see someone more attractive in your entire life. Like, that's crazy for you guys. Like, you're about to see the most attractive person on planet Earth with the best hair. No, like, who is she? Hair goes dummy, hair goes stupid, hair goes crazy, hair goes litty, hair goes dumb, dummy. I look so much better. Like, I just feel so much better, you know what I mean? I just don't like when my hair is not looking good. She made it pretty light this time, but I think it looks good. It looks pretty natural. America's Next Top Model, like Tyra Banks, literally is gonna scout me. I still don't really know what I'm getting up to this evening. I feel like I can't waste this hair, you know? I look so good, duh. But right now we're gonna go home. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Frankie has a common morning routine where she just goes and then does this. It is Sunday. Right, Frankie, it is Sunday. No bite. And today's gonna be a very good day because my hair is done. Um, I went out last night with Devin and a couple other friends and it was lackluster. But honestly, I feel pretty good today. Like didn't wake up too late or anything even though we went to bed at like two, so. Today, I'm excited because we're gonna make coffee with my espresso machine. <laughs> like I said in one of my last videos, like my life is genuinely so riveting. It's crazy, like that's the highlight of my day. This is what my days consist of. My dog licking my hand and me drinking coffee. I'm gonna go get some espresso beans and I'm gonna go get some milk because I feel like that's what I need to make a latte. <laughs> Do you guys agree or no? I was wondering, I asked on my Instagram for you guys to give me like coffee bean recommendations and milk recommendations because I was like, I don't know the best beans since I never make coffee at home. So I'm kind of stoked. I'm thinking I'm gonna go to Phil's and get some beans, like the filtered soul beans because those are my favorite. Okay, Frankie's going berserk. Frankie, I know you don't like when I talk to my subscribers, but you need to share me, okay? Mommy is an influencer. <laughs> you know, maybe my life isn't the most like crazy every day. Like maybe I don't have the most going on, but my life is very peaceful and I keep it that way. I don't like chaos and drama in my life and it's a very peaceful way to live. And that's probably why I've been single for four years. 
Anyways, so today we're gonna fill the void with, okay, it's so funny, I've been doing this little Twitter bit where I talk about filling the void. People interpret it in different ways, but filling the void for me is basically like just filling, filling my time and keeping myself entertained. And then today to fill the void, like what are we doing? We are going to go make ourselves a yummy coffee at home for the first time. And maybe your sense of filling the void is watching this video. <laughs> Fit is kind of giving like ski mom. Fit is giving like Orange County mom, which is not a bad thing, I guess, but it's like, I'm only 26, so uh, I'm not a mom yet, so. What you want. You can't always get what you want. Um, I've kind of been into like that song I was gonna say the oldies, but like absolutely not. Literally only that song. Anyway, we're at my favorite place, Phil's. Let's go get our beans. Also, why were they $20? Is that like normal? That seems like a lot. Yay, only like an hour until I can use these. I feel like I have to run like four errands. Filtered sole beans. Whole bean, one pound. I'm trying to like smell it, but it literally smells like burnt toast outside. So that's all I smell right now. I'm gonna go to Nordstrom right now and return. I got a bra for like this one outfit and I did not try it on. And it I also had no idea how much it was. It fits 0% and it was $40. And I was like, okay, absolutely not. That's an immediate return. So I'm gonna return that and then get some dummy kinds of milk creamer for our little coffee. Okay, you know when you have to like return stuff and they're like, oh, do you have an email? Or it's like, is this your email? Um, and then she laughed at it. She made fun of my email that popped up on the screen. To be honest, it was one of those emails that's like, that you make in like third grade that's like, funny bunny 97. Uh, it does deserve a laugh. It's just funny because I'm like, don't judge me. Like we all have those, okay? And I'm not giving you my like business email for Nordstrom Rack. Swag chick 98. I'm annoyed at myself because I literally just looked in the Whole Foods at the coffee section and there was literally uh, Phil's coffee beans in there that were like $3 cheaper. So follow me for more budgeting tips. All right, let's go make our coffee. I got way too excited for, for that. Okay, what do we what do we get from the store? We got Organic Valley grass milk. Grass milk? That scared me. I thought it was like, I don't know what I thought that was. Uh, organic whole milk. Cause your girl uh, doesn't have any intolerances ever. So, uh, okay, then we got the Oatly Barista Blend. I'm kind of feeling like a regular, like a little cow milk latte today. Utter milk latte. Yum, doesn't that sound tasty? I was like looking for some like syrups, but then I couldn't find any in there. So I guess we're going unsweetened, which I usually do anyways. I just wanted to make it like a fun little video. And then I was gonna get some of the nut pod creamers, but then someone was in the way. So then I just gave up, so. Resilience, always remember that. Dedication, the grind, like you gotta work for what you want and I did not put in the work today. So now what happened? I left the store without nut pods. It's time. I've got my coffee machine right here. Um, this coffee machine doesn't really fit on my counter so I need to get a little bit of a, like a bar cart over there past my stove in that situation. But for now it's going right here where it doesn't fit. Perfect. Okay, but can we admire how beautiful she is? Like, sheesh, is this worth $675? We'll see. Coffee bean grinder. We got a milk frother over here. This thing that goes like this, ear, ear, ear. I don't really know what I'm doing. Is this like, like this type of situation? <sighs> no. Put the beans in the grinder. Nice. Put that on top. Let's get it. Oh, but we're not using the milk frother today, sadly, but I know you guys probably really wanted to see it. Like that's the only reason you clicked on this video, but you can't always get what you want. I'm never doing that again. All right, power. I know some of those words. First you put this here, filter size, double, double shot, of course. <laughs> Welcome to how to make coffee with Emma. I see. That's a lot. That seems like too much. Oh well. This is definitely too much. What? Then you push this down. And then you're supposed to do this with... 
the razor to scrape the sides. I don't really know what's going on. Okay. I don't have any espresso cups, so is that criminal? Insert lock. Put this under. Double shot. Okay, looks normal, looks normal. Oh, I think you're supposed to look at this. And it tells you if it was like a good pull or not. Clearly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Cut. Ice from an ice tray, because I'm bougie. Okay, now you do this, right? This is normal. Pour it over the ice. Smells good. And then you get to hit him with that good, good cow's milk. Ooh. Am I the best barista in the United States? Maybe. But we actually gotta put it to the test, you know? I can't just like clean that. I need to like make sure that I am. So let's see. I'm like nervous because this is just gonna be embarrassing if it's bad. I put too much milk in it. Dude, that's fire! I'm never going and buying coffee again. Why didn't I do this earlier? Why doesn't everyone do this? I feel like this is way better. I'm never paying $7 for a latte ever again. Yes. Anyways, so you too can be like me if you want to spend $675 on an espresso machine. I'll put a link in the description um, if you actually do, but it might be like one of the nicest appliances I have in my apartment. I also have a Vitamix, but I think this one takes the cake. Sit. Good sit, stay. Okay, get it. Frankie's eating her lunch. Mommy's eating her lunch, avocado toast. I eat this like every single day. Just so good on sourdough. Fire. I don't know who this is, but this is the first thing that pops up on my Instagram when I open it. Hey, he hit that. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, get it. Okay, biggest celebrity crush? Nicholas Braun. This is my favorite show. 9 p.m. Eastern on HBO Max. Okay, that means 6 p.m. my time. I'm gonna be watching Succession, which is in six hours. So I have to fill the day for six hours. 